Now, they might be united by grief, but these families are on a crusade to change the laws around drink driving. It's an important message and timely as we hit the roads this holiday season. It's like standing at the edge of an abyss and this huge hole in front of you and it's burning with hurt and loss. It really ripped the heart out of our family. We got the life sentence, no one else, and my kids have that life sentence of not seeing their dad on their birthdays and Christmas and, um, and, and what was it all for? We never get over it. It's pain and suffering and trauma that we have to live with for the rest of our life. It doesn't go away. Three people once were strangers. Yep. Add the sentencing count now united in their determination to make a difference. I don't want to see any other family member have to sit down with their families and tell them that their loved ones aren't coming home. And a force for change. It's not something you move on from, it's something you move forward with. Together, they're at the heart of a road trauma support group. We were searching for answers, but we were very much alone. At that time, we were lost. We didn't know, what do we do? Where do we go? What's the next step? Who do we turn to? There was no support, Simon, there was nothing. We were forced to be resilient because of the circumstances of the trauma and what we've lost. So having that solidarity with others that understand that is really important. We found people on our way that had been through similar trauma to this and that's how the genesis of the Road Trauma Support Group started. Duncan Wakes Miller's 17-year-old son Barney was a passenger in a car driven by a schoolmate that mate was drunk and speeding. He died by the side of the road and paramedics couldn't save him. Last week, the teenager was placed on a 21-month good behaviour bond. Roxanne Arnold's husband, Stephen, was killed by a speeding and drunk driver on his way to work. Our daughter was 14 at the time and our young son was nine and the hardest thing I've ever done in my life is come home and tell them that their dad had died and wasn't coming home from work. Grandmother Kelly Aino Brady was charged with aggravated dangerous driving, occasioning death. So the perpetrator got four years yep. for your husband's life. Is that enough? Um, I'd probably go to jail longer for not paying my taxes then for being, you know, three and th nearly four times over the alcohol limit and doing twice the speed limit and taking someone's life instantly. It, it just shows that the justice system is just wrong. Tom Dar's 83-year-old father, Thanos, was gardening when a drugged-up truck driver on a suspended licence ran him down and killed him. That driver had a history of traffic infringements, licence suspensions. He'd lost his licence on five other occasions. He believes the legal system is weighted towards the offender. He'll be out soon. He'll go back to his life. He'll be with his family as if nothing had happened. We're the ones who feel the pain, the suffering, the trauma. Every time we hear an ambulance siren, it opens our wounds. We hear of a f fatality on the news. It takes us back to that day. We don't get over this, he does. And that's not fair, that's not a justice system. When Crash Investigation Unit boss, Chief Inspector Katie Orr met Tom Dar, she realised how isolated victims of road trauma were. There's people killed on our roads every day, unfortunately. Um, and this, is, this was a gap where we weren't providing the enough support. And so the Road Trauma Support Group was born. Trauma is different for everybody. Grief is different for everybody, but they can help and support each other. For Duncan Wakes Miller, it's been a godsend. For me, I've decided that Barney's killing isn't going to um, be the day that I died as a father or as a husband. 
or as a friend. And it's taken me some time to come to that conclusion. He wants people to understand that a drunk driver's bad decision can have terrible ramifications. It is like a pebble dropping into a pond and the ripple effect. But it's actually more like a tidal wave for the people involved right at the epicentre of that. Roxanne, Duncan and Tom want to ensure others who face similar trauma never have to face it alone. These people who are put in this situation through no fault of their own need help, need support, need counselling. The Road Trauma Support Group isn't solely focused on helping victims. It also wants fundamental change, which can only come at government level. It also wants a change of attitude by all drivers. To look at how we can change legislation, how we can educate people better, um, and how we can support each other through this. Duncan believes police are hamstrung in the charges they can prosecute. I think we've got outdated legislation. We need a singular piece of legislation around road crimes, such as drunk driving and, and, and drug driving. I think we've just watered down the impact of road deaths by gross negligence, really, um, to the point that the consequences just kind of don't mean anything. We need a mindset change around this. People consider, oh, I'll have another beer in the bar, I might not get caught. And it's not about getting caught, it's actually about driving a lethal weapon and killing someone. The Road Trauma Support Group also wants to change the dialogue. We need to reform the justice system. We need to get rid of the word accident. These deaths on the road are not accidents. For me, that deserves the title of manslaughter or vehicular homicide in extreme circumstances. That car was your weapon and you pulled the trigger when you drove it. They're all too aware that sadly, the Road Trauma Support Group will continue to grow. It's really sad that every day, let's say every week, we're going to get new members. When you stand in the abyss next to someone who's also experienced something dreadful like this, there's a strange kind of kinship. And without those people, I would have found it a lot tougher. What strength they have and what important work they're doing. And you can find more details about the Road Trauma Support Group on our website.